Well, how y'all doing today? I'm going to show you something that here in southeast Texas is not supposed to exist. What you're looking at right now is a coyote wolf hybrid. And very likely a hybrid of a Mexican red wolf. This animal was probably hit last night. It's bloated slightly, not a whole lot. And in Texas, the Mexican red wolf was officially extirpated, that is officially wiped out in the 70s. But the last known population was relatively close to where I am right now. And I am in Humble, Texas. And it's late November. And the animal I'm looking at is probably without the bloat at least 60 pounds and probably a little bit more than that and I'll show you some features that I saw the red rump as my truck was going by I'm right next to FM 1960 that's a very busy road and I, I recovered the body right over there and I dragged it over here because it was easier to film and I'll probably drag it over there so that uh, it can decompose and I'll get a nice skull here in a couple months. Nobody mows this area. It's abandoned. So, but to show you the physiological differences, first of all, take a look at those incisors. You can see where there's bloating and the eyes almost popped out. It might have got hit around the head. I don't know. But see the shorter ears? And then the shorter legs and the more muscular chest, that is a hybrid. Now, I know in other parts of the country they use the term koi wolf, um, and that usually denotes a gray wolf and a coyote hybrid. This is most likely a, a, it's a wolf hybrid, there's no doubt. So, this is an animal that, according to the state, doesn't exist. And I'm telling you right now, it was alive less than 24 hours ago and where I go shed hunting looking for antlers and nature walking this thing routinely takes out buck deer coyotes can take out smaller deer this animal hunts from my experience in slightly larger groups threes and fours and takes out mature deer so there you go I run to these guys on occasion. I rarely am able to get a picture because once they see you, they're gone. But um, look at the coloration on the back. It's very grayish. And um, of course, there's swelling in the head. That's probably from being hit. Looks like it probably broke the neck. Good chance on that one. And, uh, you know, that's a 60 pound plus animal, no problem. Even without the bloating. Bloating, it looks almost 80. So it's about the size of my German Shepherd mix I grew up with. And uh, there you go. There is a recently deceased Mexican Red Wolf Coyote Hybrid here in Southeast Texas, November the 30th of 2019. We're already then starting to smell too. Woo, not too bad, but it's getting there. There is, yeah, there's the dominant predator in this area for deer telling you and hog too so or one of the dominant predators we'll put it that way that's fair uh, <laughs> i'm not naive believe me all right well there you go see that reddish coloration too kind of pretty so a shame they got killed but that's what happens so anyway there you go well, y'all have a fine day and i hope this was educational they've already People are starting to admit, I say people, the state actually admitted that, well, maybe, maybe there's some hybrids around. I'm telling you right there, there's your hybrid, guys. So, anyway, y'all have a fine day. And uh, I'm in a very suburban slash urban area. It's one of the busiest highways in Texas. It really is. So, thousands of cars and obviously got hit. So, y'all have a fine evening and I will talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Bye now.